how to make a glass of wine or a bottle or a plate in Modo. I think this is the faster way, fastest way I've found. Uh, there might be another one that I'm not aware. Front view, I have an empty mesh, pen tool in polygon, and in both sides. Now make sure you zoom in a bit so you're not uh, drawing a um, a glass was too big and start drawing with it and you see 10 mil is pretty good for what I'm doing so draw like this try not to have too much uh, space here and maybe something like this then you could go back and tweak your shape Q when you're done you can still tweak the shape by selecting a polygon and the move with W or with the point. You could just middle click two point and move them with the, the move tool here. But this, this should be good enough. Uh, make sure to be in polygon, duplicate radial sweep, count eight is enough, zero to 360. And try to click at the center here. And you might be off a little bit, then type zero. Uh, maybe zero is not there, so maybe I'll leave it the way it was. Uh, Z. Oh, Z is the other way, so that's fine. Q. And uh, we can go in camera, Shift A to frame it, default. And now we can press Tab. And it's very easy now to tweak. Um, a few things so uh, quickly if we are not happy with this we can select those edges here just like that by doing middle click and we can scale them inward or we can even scale in two axes like that the top if you want it to be uh, very sharp we could go in polygon L and just do a bevel like this. Um, Shift A. What else? Um, for lighting, you could just go M, call that glass. If you need a liquid inside the glass, there's many ways to do this, but one way is to uh, copy those polygons, even the bottom one. Go L, Shift up to grow the selection and maybe deselect this, control middle click and then we could copy this and new layer, paste, control V and in that new layer we can uh, use the thicken, oh, should be here click here and drag it inside now this is in tab so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hide my glass and untab it uh, untab sorry the the water the wine whatever it is and if you want to remain this shape there's a few way you can do it we could simply use a add loop with both side and we could do one here shift click to do a new one we could do one there, Q, then we could do one without both sides here, Q, and finally maybe one here. Then the shape should remain pretty much the same. Now, when you unhide this one, uh, you might find that this one is in touch a little, it's not too bad here, but sometimes it touch a little bit. So if this happened in polygon, you can go deform, uh, push, if I can find it, push here, click, and move the blue just a hair. That could help a little bit. And for the rendering, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me turn off my trackball. Here we go. Uh, right click to bring a plane R to scale it 
and we could change this light to a right click change type to an area light. If you cannot see it in this view, make sure that the light is turned off, turned on here. And then we could just move it up a little bit, make it stronger and wider, rotate it, and that should be a good start for the rendering. To make sure that the light is doing something, uh, F8 and you can easily hide the light. I'm gonna hide the liquid for now. Voila. And make sure that this is the same as the camera. Yeah, they are the same. And like I said, you can hide the light. And it does a difference, but it's not huge. It's mostly a backlight. It's like a rim light now. Um, so we'll move it forward a little bit. Maybe make it stronger too. You can also play with the intensity of the light here. So we could make this maybe 3-3. Three, three. Voila. And then finally, uh, we could uh, make a glass from scratch. Or just use the preset F6. Material um, glass. And we could try one of those, like this. So I'm using a laptop, so it's very slow. Um, but you can uh, go in shading here, click here to see the material. And here the blue should come from here. There's a little bit of blue. So if you want a less, you would go 12. You would uh, increase the absorption distance. So more light passes through. And uh, you could also add an environment to get better reflection, uh, such as this one or even a kitchen or something like this. Now, if you do this, you might have to go to environment. Uh, you could hide it. So this means transparent. And most of the time, you'll have to tune it down and maybe rotate it a little bit, things like this. But you should get better highlight out of this one. And um, you could hide it in the refraction if you think it help. You could uh, rotate it too. Come here and uh, put maybe 30 degree to change where the highlight occur. Uh, now on the laptop, it's really slow. Voila.